Over 70% of the Earth is covered in water. But how much can you actually use? I think you'll be surprised, but only 2.5% of the Earth's water is fresh water. And only 0.3% of this is clean and accessible for humans because water is locked in ice, underground, and in our atmosphere. Ideal water is limited, and so is soil. 30% of the Earth is covered in land, with over 7 billion people living on it. As the human population continues to grow, we are putting more pressure on our finite natural resources. In addition to supporting humans, plants and animals also depend on these precious resources. Natural resources are essential to our survival, so it's critical that we take action to conserve and protect them. If the big picture of our world doesn't inspire you to make a difference, think about the local picture. We all live downstream from someone. What they do impacts us. What we do impacts us and it impacts our neighbors. These actions might not be as obvious as someone littering or unnecessarily idling their car. It can be a negative action that impacts the environment indirectly or over time. I'm not trying to point a finger at anyone, but we can all do better. It bugs me to think about things like pharmaceutical drugs being flushed down the toilet, plastic water bottles and bags being overused and improperly disposed of, urban sprawl, paving over good farmland and wildlife habitat, and even dogs pooping and owners leaving it there so it runs down the storm drains and directly into our rivers. With such a limited amount of water and a limited amount of land, it's important that every single day of the year, we take the time and effort to help the land, air, and water. Think global. Act local.